good afternoon. Today is, today's Friday. It's sad when you have to look at your phone to see what day it is because everything is just running together for me. Anyway, I just finished up doing a little bit of my schoolwork. I've already edited a vlog and I'm uploading it now. I'm just trying to get a thumbnail. Oh, so, okay, let me see. I'm just trying to put in my tags. So you guys, it takes me a little bit longer when I do my when I edit my videos because not only do I edit things out that I'm like, that's stupid, but you guys don't want to see that. I say um a lot. So a lot of times when I'm watching my videos back and I'm like, why in the world did I say um? I don't know. I don't know. So I, not only do I do that, also, um, see, there I go again. Also, and after I'm done editing, I watch the video over again just to make sure everything is okay and I've started doing that because before a long time ago when I didn't do that I think I had the music up too loud and you couldn't hear me like extremely loud I didn't mute the music at all or turn the volume on the music down so that's what I'm doing now it's 1 30 I've been up a while I've been up since maybe around 10 but I want to start getting up earlier than that because I don't want to make it a habit of getting up late every day. So I just finished watching Onward on Disney Plus. Normally it wouldn't have been my type of movie that I would watch. It was pretty good. So if you guys have Disney Plus, check out Onward. Good it's afternoon, really everyone. cute. It is Saturday and I didn't vlog anymore yesterday because we didn't do anything. What we do? What we have been doing every day is what we did yesterday. So there's nothing to update you on other than me watching Netflix between Netflix, Hulu, and Disney Plus all day long. That's all we did. That is literally all we did. Did I cook? I don't even think I cooked yesterday. Anyway, it's just me right now. I'm on my way to Winco to get some things we need. For the house, we are out of milk and um, just little things like that. So that's what I'm doing now. And it's raining, you guys. It's so cold out. And by it being Saturday, I mean, I know a lot of people are still working, especially the essential workers. It's cold and rainy. We may have to stand outside of the store because they only let so many people in at a time which is understandable but I didn't dress for it so yeah I mean I do have a jacket on a hoodie on but it's cold out here all right you guys so I'm back in from Winco and yes I did have to stand in the line but it actually wasn't that bad Maybe about five or seven minutes and then I was in the store and they kept making announcements you know remember to practice social distancing keeping six feet away from everyone at all times what else oh it, it was a fairly easy trip for a Saturday you know so I didn't have to deal with the crowd and by this being the beginning of the month and as you guys see I did not go through with the natural hair so I did do it and have Cheyenne pick it out whatever and I may or may not insert a picture of me like that I didn't like it Savannah said I looked like I was 20 which wasn't a bad thing I, I will take it but she told me I would look like a little girl so that's not the reason why I didn't wear it or I didn't keep it I just I didn't feel comfortable with it I didn't like the look on me so yeah for you guys that are wearing the natural hairstyles and the sister locks and the dreadlocks i give you credit because i i can't do it because i need to start already long not in the beginning stages of the poodle look you know so yeah if i feel cur the courage enough to insert a picture i will but if not then you guys know then i didn't get the courage so anyway let me get home. I finally got more creamer, you guys. I'm so excited. So I just got the Winco brand. This one's the French vanilla. And then I got the hazelnut. And now I'm about to have my coffee in my Ray Dunn vacay mug. Y'all, this is so good. Ah, 
so good and yes I have on the same clothes I had in the last vlog and that's because in the last vlog I did not go anywhere so they were still clean I mean I cleaned the house but I didn't get sweaty or anything like that so anyway I'm just sitting here it's funny because I never do like food hauls or I do clothing hauls sometimes like in the past before when we've gotten something from Kohl's or whatever like that I don't know why I just don't do them I watch grocery hauls and shopping hauls and Disney hauls and stuff like that but I don't know why I just don't do it here I don't think you guys want to know what I got and it's funny because I will watch everyone else because I want to know what you go oh, what you got you know but I don't think you guys want to see what we got I don't know anyway so I actually said I was going to do a grocery haul when I was driving home I thought hmm give you guys more footage you know let you guys see what we got and when I came home it was just like a machine get everything in the house put everything away and I didn't realize it until I'm folding my bags and I'm like I didn't do the grocery haul anyway so maybe next time if I remember but we have food but I just stocked up on stuff like milk, bread, eggs, cheese, you know, the stuff that you use on a regular basis. We were low on cereal, so I got that. We have actually have cereal to last like two or three weeks, I think, as long as Savannah doesn't eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, which she is the cereal person. The funny thing, you guys, so before all this happened, I had a cold, right? And the cold went away and I'm fine, but the cough is still lingering and y'all know how hard it is to try to stifle a cough when you're out in public so people won't think you're contaminated and kick you out the store or anything like that. Man, I need my groceries. So yeah, I mean, when I actually finally got down an aisle that I was by myself, I covered my mouth, of course, you know, put my arm like that and I cough, but it was so hard to try to stifle my cough throughout the store. <coughs> This cough just will not go away. I haven't decided what I wanted to make. My hair is a mess, y'all. This is, it is what it is. Yeah. It got wet. So that's the reason why it's like puffing up a little bit right here. Anyway, I, what was I saying? I'm trying to decide if I'm going to cook tonight or if it's going to be a fin for yourself night. So I got stuff to make gumbo and it's perfect weather it's raining and whatever even if it wasn't raining i think i was gonna make gumbo but i got stuff to make gumbo but i don't know if i want to make that today or tomorrow and i'm gonna make homemade ice cream if you guys can see not my green cup right there but um the little container behind it <laughs> that's my ice cream maker that i bought years ago and i had it when the kids were younger before we moved into this house here i would make ice cream often like every couple of weeks like different variations of different flavors and then once we got in this house i think i made it once or twice then i stopped making it i don't know why i did that i just stopped making it so it's not that they're asking me for it i'm just sitting here thinking because i'm bored and my mind is racing and whatever and you know how when you're supposed to go in bed your mind thinks of 20 million things and thinking i should make homemade ice cream tomorrow so that was last night so i'm going i'm going to make that today for sure but i just don't know if i'm going to cook the gumbo or not because i don't know gumbo's not hard to make but it's the preparation of cutting the sausages, deveining the shrimp, and cleaning the chicken and all that stuff. So I don't know if I want to do that right now. Let's see. It's three o'clock. Normally, if I would have made the gumbo, I would have already done it by now. So I don't know. I'm about to find something to watch and I bought some seaweed from Winco. Oh, I have to say from Winco because you guys know I went to Winco. But this is the wasabi flavored. So I'm just going to snack on that, drink my coffee, and do nothing. But if I, when I make the ice cream, I'll come back and show you guys. So I'm starting the process for the ice cream. I have the half and half, the whipping cream, the salt, imitation, vanilla. I have the sugar right there. And on the stove, I have the milk that needs to scald. So I've made this before. It's just been a long time. I had to look at the direction. So when Savannah seen this, I pointed to her, I said, look what I'm doing today. She said, what, it's a trash can? The base is going to be just regular vanilla ice cream. So this is everything mixed in. I have to chill that for 30 minutes before I put it in the canister. 
Okay, so I washed this out even though I didn't have to because the ice cream doesn't actually go in this part. But I washed it out with soap and water because it's literally been sitting since probably 2012 or something like that. So I cleaned out the trash can, <laughs> as Savannah said. All right, I know this is loud, you guys, but everything is going. And I do have the ice in there and the rock salt right here. And Savannah is crushing up the I mean, Oreos for afterwards. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Okay, so I know it's loud, you guys. So I'm going to try to talk louder. But this is the ice cream machine. <laughs> uh, ice cream maker that I got years ago. So it's by Rival. And yeah, all I need is something basic. Not the big fancy kinds. So I'm thankful this is still actually oh, working. I and we're watching Death Note on Netflix. Because Savannah got me into this. You guys know they're... Yes, Savannah got me into it. Wait, it's dark in here. Hold up. Why can't they see anything? Well, probably because it's dark in here and we don't have any lights on and okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah, why don't we open the blinds? That's I mean that's what they're there for. That's what they're there for, exactly. Okay, she's not fully dressed, so that's the reason why I'm not trying to show her right now. Anyway, yes, I look like this again. Hello, how you doing? It, it is what like it is. It looks like death note out outside, that's what she said. Anyway, so I'm not into anime and so why are you opening that wide? It means you gotta look at the jungle. My backyard's a jungle again, you guys. Anyway, there we go. Much more. Better. So she got me into... I'm not into anime. She is. But <clears throat> there's a movie on Netflix called Death Note. And I watched it years ago. And it was pretty good, right? So Savannah, because she's into anime, she found Death Note. And she's like, Mom, no, it's way better than the movie. Is trash. movie whack movie is whack you gotta watch the show so now she has me watching it but i have to pay attention to it now we have to turn it up louder because the ice cream maker is going because it's but it's even better because she's watching it sub though so i'm just gonna say that it's subbed not dubbed because she said and apparently she's this expert now that when you watch it dubbed it loses content which i can understand that and then it loses the what did you say like the voice? Yeah, like sound effects and stuff sometimes is like not as up to par. Yeah. So anyway, she has me watching this and I'm actually and really wanna, enjoying it. And don't you want to watch it anyway how the creator intended it to be watched? Well, yeah, but I don't. I just don't want to read everything. I, I mean, I know a lot of times we have subtitles on the movies that we watch and the shows that we watch. But to me, that's different because I can at least understand what they're saying. But it is what it is. I'm used to it and after a while. I yeah, do it she does. And she literally watches a lot of anime. A lot. I she finished Netflix. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we basically finished Netflix. <laughs> All right, so the ice cream is done mixing. I added Oreo cookies, crushed up Oreos. And it's now in the freezer to harden. And I will show you guys when it's done. Lighting is never good right here. Anyway, y'all, it is after one o'clock. I should not be up. I'm wide awake, like wide awake. But I just wanna get my sleeping back on track, you guys, because right now I'm so wide awake and it's like, yeah, I could turn my lights off or turn my TV off. I can shut everything down and go to sleep. But my mind is just going. Just like last night, my mind was going, oh, I should make ice cream. Oh, and speaking of ice cream, you guys, I didn't show it. We didn't have any tonight because it churned, if that was you call it, it mixed for a long time. And then you're supposed to put it in the refrigerator, in the freezer, to let it freeze. So I'm just going to let it freeze overnight and it'll be best. And then tomorrow we will have it. I did taste it. It's so good, and I let Savannah taste it. It's going to be so good, so I will show you guys that tomorrow um, when we actually have some instead of just tasting it. But yeah, it came out really good. I'm happy, and tomorrow I may make the gumbo. But you guys, I'm so worried right now because when I came in my room, I heard like water dripping, and I'm like, my TV's not on. So I looked at my window, and there's actually water leaking from the top of the windowsill. I'm so freaking out and if it was 
light outside, I would actually take the ladder and go and see if maybe, you know, I clear out the, what's that called, the gutter. So, I don't know, you guys. Um, I do have somebody that I can call to come look at that. So hopefully, he will be able to come check and help me out and at least, you know, put a band-aid on it until all this blows over. I'm just praying, I'm praying, I'm praying. It's not going to be a huge, expensive fix because we're not working right now. And I don't have the funds to replace whatever's going on in there. So that's why I'm going to call this person because they're a jack of all trades. So hopefully they can get it done. <sighs> yeah. All right. I'm bored. So I decided to bring the camera out and talk to you guys. This light better. What you guys do today? Same thing I did? Yeah. There are some people who are still working. My brother who lives in Texas, he's actually at home with Apollo so he's working from home and my brother that lives here in Sacramento his wife is at home because of the type of job that she does and I can't really say anything because I just can't <laughs> she's not even on social media so it's on it's one of those things and he is still working and I can't say what he does either they're not in like the CIA or secretive stuff like that. It's just, um, I just can't. So anyway, I'm just ch checking up on them, making sure they're okay. I really want to go see my mom, but my mom will be 71 this year. She does not look like it at all, but I don't want to take the chance and go and see her, even though I think she's fine. What if we're, we are carriers and we give it to her or anything like that? So yeah. By now, she would have already come up here to visit because I do have an uncle that lives here, that my mom's brother, that he is in a nursing home. So, yeah, I'm just rambling, I know. But there's nothing to do, and I'm bored, and everyone's in their room. And I think Savannah's making a ticket. Good morning, it is Sunday, and I'm about to have my coffee. This smells so good, you guys. It comes in this fresh sealed pack <laughs> and the pods are like this that's the reason why you keep them in here but it smells so good it's vanilla macadamia nut so I'm just gonna have my coffee hello you guys are seeing me it's Sunday morning and day whatever and just sitting here I'm about to drink my coffee I'm not really hungry right now I've been up maybe it's about 10 30 now let's see yeah, I've been up since 9 o'clock, so that's good. Even though I went to bed around 3 in the morning, I tried to force myself to get up because these late nights, being an, I'm a night owl already as it is, but I just don't want to get in the habit of staying up till the sun comes up and then going to sleep. I'm not a vampire, so yeah. Anyway, what I forgot to tell you guys is when I did go to... Winco also stopped off at Walmart. I ran in there really quick because I needed Sea Breeze and I did get my command strips. I'm gonna put that, as you guys see, that's been sitting on my counter ever since it fell off my um, wall. And if I had known, I have recessed lighting in throughout my house, not everywhere, but so I have some that are out and I knew they were out here in the living room. It's ones that we don't use often but the kids' bathroom has recessed lighting and they turned it on yesterday and only one is working. So I'm gonna have to go back out soon. I just hope that one lasts until, I'm not gonna go back out until like about a week or so and hopefully get another one then, but I'll show you guys. I have bolted ceilings and yeah. So recessed lighting there, there. Um, I know you guys can see it, but there and up there and also in the bathroom and there's one or two in the dining room as well. So those are out and I need some bulbs to replace it. Well, I did call the guy that I know and, and I told him what was going on and he said he would be able to come look at it once it stops raining and that makes sense. Um, Number one, he doesn't want to get wet. Anyway, he said it's most likely, because I thought it was from the gutters. He said it's most likely not from the gutters. It's likely from the window seal. So he told me to go out there and see if I can find where it's leaking and like put a plastic up there so it won't come in. 
I went out, I don't know what I'm looking for. Everything is wet. So I don't know what, I don't know. Maybe I should just tape that whole section up just in case. I don't know, but hopefully it doesn't cause any major damage. I'm just going to keep an eye on it. I do have towels in my windowsill that are there to soak up the water. And it's not a lot, but I keep an eye on it. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. I forgot you guys. Let's go check on the ice cream. Of course, I'm not going to have any now because it's too early, but let's check on it. Okay, so this is it right here, and I kept it in here because it's really cold when I take it out. So that's the reason why I have it in the bag. Ghetto, I know. But this is the homemade Oreo cookie ice cream, and I did taste it. That's the reason why I brought a spoon out. So it tastes pretty good. This section over here, even though it's hard, it's kind of like ice milk, which leads me to believe that I didn't let it mix enough in the ice cream maker so it's been a long time since I did this you guys and even though I was following directions I was still like oh my goodness what to do so yeah it's not really soft but it's not you know f as firm over here as it is like here here more of the consistency that ice cream should be and here it's like I don't know if ice cream was melted and frozen again so it still tastes good though so now just gonna enjoy my coffee and my Ray Dunn mug that says laugh. All right, so I'm about to start the process for the gumbo. I have the chicken, I have everything ready. I'm about to make my gravy, which is a roux base. We call it a roux, but it's flour and oil. <clears throat> I prepared everything, chopped up all of the sausages and the spicy sausage uh, and the onion and green onion and what else did I put in there? Parsley. So all that's ready. It's prepared. So I'm going to actually start cooking. So times like this, I wish I had one of those fancy faucets above the stove that pours water in your pot because this took so long to fill up and I didn't want to bring it in the sink because I don't have a very deep sink and it would have been too heavy. Okay, here it is so far. I already put the brew in it, the gravy that I make and there's the chicken and I put the sausage in there the Anjuli sausage and spicy sausages and what else the parsley onion and green onion and I already seasoned it and I'm letting that cook for a little bit and of course I use my favorite Creole seasoning but I did put some salt in there not too much and I'm just letting it cook down when it's almost done, then I will add the crab and the shrimp. But the shrimp is absolutely last. And can y'all believe it? I'm frying chicken, y'all. I cannot believe this. But I didn't want the rest of the chicken to go to waste. And those actually look like it's done. So let me take those out. So the fried chicken is done. I'm just going to put it in the oven to keep it warm. Okay, you guys. So I just added the shrimp. This is actually going to be done soon, but look at this. Look at this. This looks scrumptious, and I just started cooking the rice. I cannot wait to have this. Look who's here. Hi, Tariq. Hi, Tariq. Look who got his hair dyed. Got his hair dyed. It's a little bleach. Is it? Was it actual bleach? Not bleach like used for detergent, or it was, no, it was like hair bleach, like used bleach. <laughs> I'd say it for an hour because I'm going to take a black. Wow. So I'm having ice cream and cookies. There's cookies in the ice cream, but then yet I got three cookies here on the side. So we are actually out getting some fresh air in my neighborhood. And we have Boston with us. And it's just me and Savannah right now. And so Boston is marking everything. And he doesn't know how to act.